lot of our voting machines are basically computers, and especially computers without any paper audit trail are vulnerable to hacking and errors in ways that can't be corrected. And my worry is that we're going to have an election where there is credible evidence of a hack and we're literally not going to know the actual results and have no way to figure it out. And that, right now, will be a disaster for our system. So you said your concern is we're going to have an election. Do you think we had one? Uh, my guess is no. It, it's sort of interesting to watch these three states. There's research that you shows— You mean Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, and Michigan? An yeah, those three states. So there are anomalies in the results that seem to correlate with voting machine type. Now, that is a red flag for hacking and, and something we should look at, and we should definitely research this. My guess is it isn't. My guess is there's some confounding variable that the, the machine type is correlated to demographic in some way. But we don't actually know until we do the research. Uh, my worry right now is the recount. That process was designed decades ago, and it meant counting the ballots slower and more carefully. And it didn't mean looking at the voting machines for forensic evidence of hacking. So I'm not convinced that even after this recount, we're going to know more.